Good morning. Today I'm going to talk about the top 20 questions that new drivers have. If you don't know, I'm a state certified driving instructor. I teach teens and adults. So I decided to start posting on TikTok to bring education, to bring fellowship, and to help young drivers and people who have anxiety learn how to drive. So I want you to enjoy this. Any questions you have, please type them in. And my goal is just to do as best as I can. Uh, the first question that I have, what is the difference between driver's training and driver's education? Driver's education is an actual class that you're going to take, where usually it's in a public school, uh, it's in a third party educational setting where you have a certain number of sessions you have to take. My location, you have to have 24 hours of class, you have to have six drives, and you have to have four hours of observation. Everyone is a little bit different. We do make custom packages for students who need a little support. And when you have support, you're able to reach your goal. Driver's education is different for different people. I want you to understand this. And what do I mean by this? Considering maybe you're 25 or 27, you had your permit, it expired, you're gonna to have to go back to the DNV and practice, and you're gonna get your temporary instruction permit, that's called your TIP. And then you're gonna practice for 30 days, you might take a couple of sessions with me, you might book an online session with me, I can tell you some things you need to do to prepare for your road test because I do prepare adults and teens for road test also. You've seen some of that content and I'll push out more. Uh, in terms of um, driver's training, this is where you're gonna go and someone is gonna train you how to drive, how to park, how to merge you on the expressway, and then those things will help you reach your goal. So once you are helped, to reach your goal, the goal is is to get your permit. The goal is is to be independent. And uh, post COVID, it is very important that you reach your goal and that you set best practices. Um, ultimately, I want to see people help themselves. Anxiety is very real. One of my close family members was uh, involved in an accident and they can no longer drive on the expressway. Uh, thank you. And anxiety is real. Don't let anyone think and tell you that it's not real. You need support. We all need support. Um, number two, I am, am I required to take driver's education course to obtain my class D? If you're under 18 years old, you will need to show proof of taking driver's education course. The course must be approved by the Department of Driver's Education Services. You also need to complete 40 hours of supervised training, six hours of driving. Um, certain states have certain requirements. For example, Georgia, you have to have 40 hours of supervised driving. My location, you have to have 30 hours of supervised driving. It varies from state to state, province to province. So, all of you who are watching, I strongly suggest you contact your DNV and then you reach out to me so I can make a custom learning platform for you uh, to help you reach your goal. And your goal is to help you get your permit, to help you get your license, or to talk to you to give you your support, okay? Next question, what is a certified driver's education course? A certified driver's education course is designed and approved by DDS. Driver's education courses not approved by DDS cannot be used for purposes of taking a class D uh, course. So the courses have to meet state requirements. And those state requirements could be you have an authorized location. You are a LLC. You are registered in the state. Uh, you have a certified instructor. I'm a certified driving instructor. I've been teaching over 23 years. Uh, every two years I have to recertify with the state. I have a official driver's education instructor number with the state. So I'm not some random uncle or some random guy 
who is just posting videos. When I post videos, it's from the context of a state certified instructor to help you pass driving, to help you pass test. And then I discover and go over some of the common areas where people fail. So I give you real value. And when you see real value, you'll follow, you'll like, you'll leave comments. And then I answer those comments. Okay, my bio is, you know, in there and you can look. Um, next, how is driver's education structured? Okay, driver's education classes are structured based on the state or provincial requirements. It could be 50 hours of supervised driving, um, four hours of observation. You would have to take a state examination. It could be 80 questions, 60, 150. So you need to really prep and prepare. I think a lot of teens post-COVID wait till they're 18. Hey, I'm going to wait till I'm 18. Um, I'm not going to take driver's ed courses with those little kids. I'm almost 17. Well, you have to look at your financial situation. Um, if you're closer to 18 and you have a job, maybe you should wait to 18. If you sign up for a driver's ed course now, you will be with younger kids. You will be with people who are 14, 9, 15, 16, almost 17. So if you are 18 and up and you don't want to be with kids, then you need to go to the state and see what you need to do to get your TIP. Then you need to reach out to me. Uh, we can jump on the phone. We can do a video call. And I can tell you your best plan of action to help you reach your goal. And I think a lot of young people, and I'm saying young, 18 to 25, you want to get your license, you work, but you don't have time. So you need someone like me to help you get to your goal to get your license. It could be as simple as making a schedule, right? Um, two days a week, I'm going to do class virtually. Two days a week, I'm going to work on my driving when my mom or dad get home. And maybe on Saturday or Sunday, they can help me. Because if you don't practice, you won't be able to get out there and really drive safely to pass your test. Ultimately, you're going to have someone evaluating your driving. Can you parallel park? Do you know how to park on a hill? Do you know how to merge on an expressway? Do you understand four-way stops? So it's a lot of information that can be very overwhelming. Uh, what is 30 and 6? 30 and 6 driver's education courses is a traditional course consisting of at least 30 hours of instruction in a classroom environment. I do a virtual classroom environment because I've made that choice post-COVID to set up a social media platform to teach driver's ed. And if you guys are interested, you need to be reaching out to me so I can help prepare you for the next step in your life because driver's education or driving in general is a huge undertaking. And if you do it right, you're going to be safe the rest of your life. If you do it wrong, you rush, you're not consistent, you're going to end up learning bad habits, maybe changing lanes in the middle of the intersection, not using your blinker consistently, uh, not stopping completely at four-way stops. So a lot of questions I get are about those basics, and I can go over those. So you have to have that practice. You have to have your behind-the-wheel driving time. This is where you and your instructor, you and someone over 21, get you out into a parking lot. Get you into a neighborhood where you're making 12 right turns, 12 left turns, right? And then once you get out there, then you're going to be better able to pass that test. Because if you can't drive in a parking lot, meaning making right turns, making left turns, you're going to struggle um, really getting prepared to do your best on a road test where you have a state certified road tester it's going to tell you, okay, I need you to make a right turn. I need you to make a left turn. I need you to merge on the expressway. And if you can't do those things or you're hesitant, you're going to end up being marked down. Okay. So this is why it's so important that you leave comments. You like my content. You ask questions because I do care 
because I'm a teacher, I'm an instructor, and I want you to live your best authentic life. I am ready to apply for my Class D driver's license. What is the supervised driving and how do I need to log? Well, when you go to the DMV, they're going to give you a paper a log to fill out. Some people use the digital format. I'll be coming out with a new digital system uh, to help you organize and keep and log your hours. You need to at least be 21 if you're going to be supporting someone learning how to drive. You need to possess an unexpired Class D driver's license. You need to be in the seat next to them, in the passenger seat. You need to be capable, and this is important, you need to be capable of controlling the car in case they veer toward a pole, uh, hit a curb, because a lot of times beginning drivers panic. So you need to wear thin sole shoes. You need to be more consistent and get out there and trust it. You don't need someone screaming at you. You need someone who's going to support you, who's going to love you, and who's going to care about you. No law book is required for supervised driving. However, at the time of application for the Class D license, a parent, guardian, or and duty authorized DDS certified driving education instructor, woo, me, can help and document those hours. This applicant needs to have 40 hours of driving. So before you take your road test, let's pretend you're 18, you went to the Secretary of State, you took your test, you took your vision test, you passed the knowledge test, you've been driving for 30 days. You have hours. You have to show proof of that. Then you show your ID, passport, you show them your hours, and then you're ready to take your test. Okay? Can I take driver's education online? Yes. This is where you need to reach out to me. I'm a state certified instructor. I go over the basic rules, right of way, uh, demonstration of insurance, a lot of these things, a lot of beginning drivers don't think about. So you need to be able to have knowledge of these things. So what better person than me to help you? 30 hours classroom part of the driver's education course may be taken online. And more and more states are going to that because it's a way of the future. Gone are the days where you're going to go into a school, go into a building, a brick and mortar location. There's nothing wrong with it. But online classes are so convenient. You could be at home 6.30 to 8.30, 7.30 to 9.30. You can relax. I do different interactive games to help you learn how to drive. And then we review those games together one-on-one, -on -one, and then I can show you what you missed. We can go, oh, oh thank you. Um, I wasn't sure about the rules of the right away. Oh, if a funeral procession comes, I didn't know what to do because you could fail your road test if you make even the slightest mistake. A slightest mistake will be going 10 under, 12 under the limit. I had a client go too slow, 12 under, 15 under. They had a restricted license. I helped them pass, but they had a restricted license. Okay, so I want to continue. Um, yes, you can take your driver's education course or online. It also uh, must be approved in other states, so I do meet that qualification. Be sure to register for a course that meets uh, Joshua's Law. That's an example. As well as teens under 18 must complete a supervised driver's training. Let's continue. I signed up for an online course, but I lost my username and password. Can DDS provide me with a lost username and password? Unfortunately, no. Every uh, authorized online driving school is a little bit different. Uh, when you sign up for these courses, you'll have a student portal. Well, your password will be set up. Usually your mom or dad sets that up. If you're over 18, you'll set it up. I'm a firm advocate of people, regardless of your age, taking a driver's education course. We all need to refresh our skill sets, right? We all need to get better. Learn the rules of the right of way. Learn how to merge properly. Learn how to parallel park. Learn how to deal with a traffic light 
What's up, Jax? Learn how to deal with a traffic light that um, is not working. Treat it as a four-way stop. Okay, so you need to be able to understand the rules so you can be consistent. Just because you have your license, your learning does not stop. You got to keep learning. You have to keep evolving. You have to keep getting better. I'm thinking about getting my class one CDL so I can perhaps drive a party bus, right? And that's an opportunity for me. I already have my chauffeur's license. I'm already a certified instructor. I already have my driver's license. So that will be another part and another element to make me more valuable for a company, for myself. So you always want to think of opportunities. The transportation industry is incredible and there are new opportunities every single day. Okay. Why do you think you see you, uh, um, uh, all these transportation, uh, agencies coming up and they're looking for new drivers Okay, just to name some, Amazon, UPS, they pay a lot of money, but you have to work crazy hours. But if you're willing to be crazy and make good money, you can really pay off your college debt. You can get a house. You don't have to work that type of job forever, but that's a great skill to have on your resume. Okay, so you got to think long term, but it won't happen if you don't have your driver's license. You follow me? You've got to have that license. That's the first step. Are driver's education instructors employees of DDS? Driver's education instructors are employees of a school. So I'm a certified instructor. If I go to various schools, I could start a driver's education program. I'm certified by the state. I would need to get a driver's education car, have the dual mirror, put a brake in there, get a name, get the proper insurance. And then I would set up my schedule. There are a lot of schools around the country and around the state where there are 150, 200, 500 kids who want driver's ed, but they have to travel 30 minutes away, 45 minutes away to drive. So if you have that vision and, and have an extra car and get certified, you got to be 21 to take those classes. It's a great opportunity. Um, and once you do that, you could make limitless money. Okay. Does the state contact the driver's education schools? The state does contact your driver's education schools in case of an audit. They want to see your driver's education records. They want to make sure you have proper insurance. Oh, if there's a complaint, and occasionally complaints do happen, maybe a client is not happy, maybe an instructor snapped on a student. Those things do happen occasionally. Sometimes there's a personality conflict. I've worked at a location. I was the main instructor teaching 36 students. I would drive 20. The other instructor would drive 16. A client or a parent was not happy. Hey, I want to talk to you. Your instructor was very rude to my son or daughter. They feel very nervous, right? Um, so it's all about relationships. And let's use Jax for a minute. Uh, for one of my former students, uh, this was doing a really difficult time. And I support my students. I care, you know, having a good sense of humor, um, really educating them the best way you can. And most of the time, 99%, there's a good connection with your students, a good connection with the parents. Um, one of my good friends, Mr. Frank, said, always talk to the parents. After the drive, I always talk to parents. I always say hi. I always mention, hey, your son or daughter did well. We parallel park. We make right turns. We make left turns. And once parents hear that, they're like, oh, my God, you did? So that is so important. Yes, uh, parents look out for you, bring you a coffee, a donut, because we care. And during COVID, it was a very difficult time. Also, uh, a lot of parents were calling and reaching out. It was a difficult time because a lot of driver's education schools had shut down. And you had hundreds, if not thousands, of students who were left out in the cold. So that really taught me a lot. It helped make me um, prepared to think about going out on my own, to think about providing a more customized service. And every school is different. You need to do your research. Are the instructors young? Are they old? Do you have new cars? Do you have old cars? Do the instructors have their own custom curriculum? I do. 
Um, do they have experience? Are they a teacher? A lot of instructors are teachers, school bus drivers, police officers, and they make good instructors. But ultimately, it's experience and it's your vision and value because you're teaching adults and teens who are so nervous. They are scared. And if you scream or grab the wheel, you're really going to scare them. So you want to give love. You want to give support. You want to give understanding. What if my child, what if my child had a, a driver's education in another state? Um, you need to check with the local driver's education facility and call the state that you live in. Sometimes they may make you take the driver's education process. So example, I've driven some students that live in Canada. Their rules are a little bit different. I had a student who came to uh, a different state from Georgia. So you need to do research to make sure that you're meeting those state qualifications. Uh, what can I do if I experience problems with the driver's education school or instructor? All complaints go to the state that you're in. There's websites that you can leave information. Um, and then the state will investigate what needs to be done, whether it's changing uh, the practice that the driver's education school does. It could be talking to the instructor. It could be disciplinarian issues with the instructor. But it has to be a lot of complaints. It can't be just, well, my instructor was late or my instructor raised his or her voice. Um, you got to be really careful. You have to have your kid gloves on, right? So I want to say that it's really a mindset and you got to do your research. You got to call the driver's education school. Most schools have a website. Some don't. Uh, it's by word of mouth. And overall, you will hopefully get your license, have a good experience. And some driver's education schools, if you need one or two more lessons, because we all learn differently, they will provide you with their lessons. Good schools do that. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you. If you have questions or comments, you know, leave comments, reach out, and then we can talk one-on-one. -on -one. I'll set something up where we can set up a meeting and then we can talk to prepare you for your next step in driver's education. I am a state certified driving instructor. I do have an authorization number with the state. So I want to continue to bring you value. I'm going to go live this afternoon and I'll go live this evening and just look at my uh, bio. Um, and then I think my email is linked in there and just reach out. So I wanted to say thank you and I need you guys to have a good day. Bye.